<laughs> my name is Justin, and I'm a brand new librarian, graduated with my master's in library and information science during quarantine, and I thought I would share a fun story. First of all, I wanted to dispel the idea that all librarians work in public school libraries. I came into the field after working at a record store in Arizona, and I wanted to work in music librarianship. I stood out in my grad program as the only one with acid green hair, painted nails, and tattoos, but hey, I like being like this and the world just better deal. My first position on campus was with the college radio station, where I helped shelve and organize the vinyl record collection, which sounds mm. freaking awesome. Yep. It was a massive two-story collection full of everything. It was super cool, but my favorite part were finding notes left behind in the record sleeves. Love notes, grocery lists, playlist ideas, little small things that remind us of fleeting moments in others' lives. But then there was the bat. On one shift I had during my first semester, I was doing my cute little librarian thing, and I pulled some old records off the shelf and, all caps, BAT. <laughs> Just hanging upside down, sleeping behind a stack of records that probably hadn't moved in years. I had never had an intimate encounter with a bat before. Like, do I wake him, her? Question mark. I must have been there for a minute because someone also in the record library came up behind me and asked, why are you frozen like that? <laughs> that then startled the bat awake and it started flying around the library. I, a punk-looking gay man, squealed as loud as I could and ran in circles trying to avoid it. The person who was behind me did the logical thing and left the room and called animal control. <laughs> Me, the maniac, ran and ran in a circle, all caps, doing nothing productive to help get the bat out. I did this for what seemed to be an hour until someone was able to get in and grab the bat. <laughs> so they just <laughs> ran around the room instead of leaving the room. Just panicking. Oh, Only Dustin, panicking. I love it. We named them Vlad and let him go that night. <laughs> How Vlad got in the record library, nobody knows. Tales of Vlad still echo in the college town. I'd like to think Vlad was a student who was a vampire and just needed a nap in between classes, but was instead shrieked at by me for an hour. I mean, I do love a little bat just hanging there, but I don't, mm -hmm. that's such an odd animal that I don't know how I'd react. I think yeah. most people would be like, it's cute or something, but it's like, you don't know. You, you don't know. Until you're face to face with a little upside down hanging Dracula. Sleeping one that you're like, oh God, what? I don't know what's going to happen when I press the awake button. <laughs> like <laughs> blossom. Boop. Nothing. Oh, she really won't. She won't. Are you okay? <laughs>